good morning dear students in today's class we'll see the d alembert ratio test this is one of the test to see whether the given series or the quantity is convergence or divergent if summation of un is a series of positive term and if limit un plus 1 divided by un where n tends to infinity is equal to l which is finite quantity then summation of this un is convergent if this l become less than 1 if the answer after simplifying un plus 1 divided by un and after and once you apply the limit if the result turns to l but l should be less than 1 then we call it is convergent and if it is greater than 1 we call it is divergent and one more case if l become 1 then the test fails means neither it is divergent or nor it is convergent so this is the case for d alembert ratio test so here when to apply this d alembert ratio test i want to highlight the points here now so first point nth term of the series involves variable like x raised to n x raised to 2n etc then in such cases we can apply d alembert test second point nth term of the series involving n factorial or n plus 1 factorial or n factorial square etc such term if it is coming in nth term of the given series then we can go for d alembert test next one more way the number of in the numerator and denominator increases steadily means one then i can say the next term is uh, 2 into 2 into 3 next one is what here 2 into 3 into 4 means that is increasing order so in such cases we can see that uh, we can apply for, for the nth term we can apply what here d alembert test so very important thing is what here they will uh, we have uh, they will give the nth term or from the series we have to generate the nth term of the given series then we have to make uh, u n plus 1 then u n then we need to proceed so just i will give uh, steps to solve the uh, d element ratio test now now steps to solve d element ratio, ratio test step 1 writing for the general term u n for the given series means they will give u n or they will give series so that uh, series we need to convert in terms of nth form second step replace n by n plus 1 and find for n plus u of n plus 1 because we know that in the element test we have the two uh, fractions uh, that is u n plus 1 as well as u n u n will get from the uh, nth form only but in that wherever n is there if you replace that n by n plus 1 we can uh, find the value of u n plus 1 once we simplify u n plus 1 and u n so we need to take limit as n tends to infinity then we need to apply what here d alembert ratio test so with the help of this uh, regards uh, we'll go for one of the example now solution uh, so the problem is test for convergence the series 1 square upon 2 plus 2 square upon 2 square plus 3 square upon 3 square plus 4 square upon uh, 2 square plus so on so this is a series we need to test the uh, convergence of the 
series here. See here they have not mentioned any DLM words and all. So already we have we have seen. So we have two kinds of test called Cauchy's test as a root test as well as a DLM word. So in this uh, two test we need to check for one. So this series again I told in the uh, note that how to check whether we need to apply a DLM test or no. See so here uh, what happens so the numerator is increasing order first case second case so uh, it is having a power so I can say that so I will rewrite so 1 square upon 2 plus 2 square upon 2 plus 3 square upon 2 cube plus 4 square upon 2 raised to plus so on so I will write I want to write a nth term see I can say that 1 square numerator 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square so on I can say that it is n square nth term is n square divided by 2 raised to 1 okay so this is 2 square uh, one, 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 4 so on so we can mention this one as what here 2 raised to n so this is a nth term of our given quotient series means I can say the general form of our given series now so for this you can see here so it is n square form and so we can apply the element uh, ratio test now we shall apply the element ratio test fine so what is the d element ratio test here so we need uh, un already which is there as well as un plus 1 so to find un plus 1 in this we need to replace n by n plus 1 so what happens if we replace n by n plus 1 what happens here it will become n plus 1 whole square divided by 2 raised to n plus 1 this is what here u n plus 1 now so once we got so by the test what we can say here we need to take limit so therefore limit u of n plus 1 divided by u n as n tends to infinity as we know this is the statement of our d element ratio test so is nothing but so what is limit of n tends to infinity what is u n plus 1 it is n plus 1 whole square divided by 2 raised to n plus 1 di divided by the value of u n is n square divided by 2 raised to n now we need to simplify this now which can be rewritten as n plus 1 whole square divided by 2 raised to n plus 1 I'll write 2 raised to n into 2 raised to 1 okay this 2 raised to n will go up I'll write this 2 raised to n will go up divided by n square as it is this 2 raised to, sorry so limit n tends to infinity you need to mention here so here this 2 raised to n 2 raised to n cancels so what left here 1 upon 2 raised to 1 which is nothing but what here 1 by 2 I will keep as it is n plus 1 whole square so I will write limit n tends to infinity division n plus 1 whole square divided by n square okay or we'll rewrite this one as 1 by 2 times limit n tends to infinity among this you take uh, 1 upon uh, n you take common among this so among this if you take n common whole square is there so uh, you 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 can take it as what here n square will be out it will become 1 plus 1 by n whole square divided by n square 
so among this what you have to take common actually you have to take n common but n but here bracket whole square is there so it means understood if you take out it will become n square out so it will become 1 plus 1 upon n whole square this n square n square cancels so left part is 1 by 2 times limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n whole square Now apply the limits what happens here if n tends to infinity if you replace n tends to infinity it will become 1 by 2 times if you apply so 1 plus 1 upon infinity is 0 square which is nothing but 1 by 2 into 1 plus uh, 0 is 1 1 square is 1 so we got 1 by 2 if you got uh, 1 by 2 which is what here greater than 0 or less than here so it is uh, less than 1 if less than 1 what condition says here if result is less than 1 convergent greater than 1 divergent we got the value l once sir how much we got 1 by 2 is less than 1 means we can say that the series is convergent so we can say that so here thus by ratio test we can say it is ratio test also rate ratio test summation of u and e is convergent so in this way we need to check or we can test the convergence by dlmr ratio test now next example is test for convergence of the series 3 upon 4 plus 1 plus 3 square upon 4 square plus 1 plus 3 cube upon 4 cube plus 1 plus 3 raised to 4 upon 4 raised to 4 plus 1 so on so the given series I had taken so you can see that here again this is in increasing order okay so we can go for the DLM ratio test so un how to generate the nth form of this series is what here so you can observe the numerator 3 3 square 3 cube 3 raised to 4 so i can write the numerator as what here 3 raised to n fine next denominator 4 plus 1 4 square plus 1 4 cube plus 1 4 raised to 4 means 4 is common so 4 raised to n plus 1 this is the nth form of the given series and what is u of n plus 1 in place of n you replace n plus 1 so what happens here it will become 3 raised to n plus 1 and this will become what here 4 raised to n plus 1 plus 1 so this is So now we'll apply the DLMS ratio test. Now limit of u of n plus 1 divided by u n as n tends to infinity is equal to limit n tends to infinity. So u n plus 1 you write it as it is how they have given that is 3 raised to n plus 1 divided by 4 raised to n plus 1 plus 1 divided by 3 raised to n divided by 4 raised to n plus 1. So I'll rewrite this one as for uh, a, a calculation limit n tends to infinity. The numerator I will write it as 3 raised to n plus 1 divided by 4 raised to n plus 1 plus 1 into this will go in the numerator so 4 raised to n plus 1 divided by 3 raised to n now it will be easy for simplification now fine 
so which is nothing but limit so 3 n tends to infinity this 3 raised to n plus 1 will write it as 3 raised to n into 3 divided by Four raised to n plus one plus one into four raised to n plus one divided by three raised to n. This three raised to n, three raised to n cancels. Left part you collect it and write it, which is limit n tends to infinity. This three, this four raised to n plus one divided by four raised to n plus one plus one. So always we have to take the uh, any n term outside only this 3 limit n tends to infinity from the numerator I will take 4 raised to n common so what left here 1 plus 1 upon 4 raised to n fine divided by in the new uh, denominator also will take 4 raised to n plus 1 out so what left inside 1 plus 1 upon 4 raised to n plus 1 now on simplification 4 raised to n and among these 4 raised to n get cancels so left part is limit n tends to infinity this 3 so 4 raised to n and among these 4 raised to n 1 get cancelled so here 4 is left so 3 upon 4 so 1 plus 1 upon 4 raised to n divided by 1 plus 1 upon 4 raised to n plus 1 now apply the limits if you apply the limits limit n tends to infinity 3 by 4 means I will write here so we are applying limit means only 3 by 4 which is 1 plus if you apply 4 raised to infinity is value upon infinity is 0 1 okay uh, means uh, here uh, it will become n uh, infinity so it will become here uh, value upon infinity will become again infinity itself so 1 upon infinity is 0 so 1 plus again here uh, 4 raised to infinity plus 1 means it will become what here uh, infinity plus 1 means again infinity value upon infinity is again infinity 1 upon infinity is again 0 so therefore it will be 3 upon 4 itself so we can say that 3 upon 4 is again less than 1 so which implies thus the ratio test summation of un is convergent so in this way we need to simplify the examples based on dlmh test